In a compelling display of solidarity, a coalition comprising over 400 current and former Olympic, professional, and collegiate athletes, alongside 300 academics and approximately 100 advocacy groups, issued separate letters on Tuesday imploring the NCAA to refrain from barring transgender women from participating in women's college sports. Spearheaded by LGBTQ sports advocacy group Athlete Alley, the correspondence featured prominent figures such as former U.S. women's national team soccer co-captain Megan Rapino, iconic WNBA and Olympic basketball star Sue Bird, and former NFL defensive end R.K. Russell among its signatories. The impassioned plea emphasized the importance of inclusivity and urged the NCAA to embrace a stance aligned with progress and equity. Megan Rapino, a two-time Olympic medalist and a leading voice in the realm of women's sports, emphasized that purported bans on transgender athletes under the guise of safeguarding women's sports are not representative of the collective sentiment and failed to foster genuine protection. Instead, she underscored the need for the NCAA and the broader athletic community to advocate for inclusivity and affirm that sports should be accessible to all, including transgender athletes. While the NCAA has historically permitted transgender women to compete in women's sports teams under specific conditions since 2010, recent developments have sparked intense scrutiny and debate. The introduction of a new sport-by-sport -sport approach in 2022, alongside heightened attention following the notable achievements of transgender swimmer Leah Thomas, has ignited a contentious dialogue surrounding transgender sports participation. This discourse, characterized by divergent viewpoints, is underscored by a recent Gallup report revealing that a significant majority of individuals advocate for transgender athletes to exclusively participate in sports teams corresponding with the sex assigned at birth. Amidst these tensions, the NCAA, representing a significant authority in collegiate athletics, finds itself at the epicenter of this contentious issue. Legal actions, such as the lawsuit filed by college swimmers and volleyball players alleging Title IX violations, reflect the magnitude of this debate. Former University of Kentucky swimmer Riley Gaines, a plaintiff in the aforementioned lawsuit, has emerged as a vocal critic of transgender inclusion in women's sports, denouncing the NCAA's policies as discriminatory and detrimental to female athletes. The political landscape further complicates matters, with conservative lawmakers and states implementing bans on transgender students participating in school sports based on their gender identity. Despite these challenges, the Biden administration's recent revision of Title X regulations, while clarifying protections against LGBTQ discrimination, notably omitted a policy explicitly barring schools from enforcing blanket bans on transgender athletes. As the discourse surrounding transgender sports participation continues to evolve, the voices of athletes, advocacy groups, and stakeholders remain pivotal in shaping a more inclusive and equitable future for collegiate athletics.